I love I love that strategy. Um, I think that's what works now when you're in a collaboration move. Now you're helping out the dealerships. Now you're helping someone else out that needs to sell a car. Now you're helping, but then you're helping your client. Right. So that's amazing how that whole circle of influence. Um, and and I love your idea of you know we're not just doing it to do it. It's an intimate process. How long is that process from the time someone signs up with you from credit repair? And I know it varies, yeah. but because you need them to finish credit repair and then move them into this other circle. How long is that process? Do you do two clients at once, three? What, what's the... So, uh, <coughs> it got to the point like with credit repair when we first started. Yeah, credit repair and real estate. We, we started hitting the pavement, putting out all uh, kind of material. We yeah. were doing every bus stop, firing everything. Yeah. Firing on cars, like all that stuff. I actually got the techniques from the telecommunications I was working with. Yeah. I was working for. Yeah. It really surprised me because something simple as printing out a flyer and putting it on somebody's car is right. going to bring that money. Yeah. Put it on the bus stop. Yeah. You yeah. know, because you got to think about it. The bus stop, they obviously don't have a car, majority of them. So, yeah. Fill in the void. You need a car or you need some credit, you need something going on. You need on. some. You something need to happen am, right. to get that going on. I love that. In this part of town, you ain't downtown. Yo. You know, you ain't downtown Chicago. No. So, uh, yeah, it's some you, reason why you over it. Yep. So. No, 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 that's awesome. I mean, I was looking at your goals. Um, I love them. Just uh, go back and let us know what your top three goals are. And then we're going to get into some tips and strategies for you comfort killers right from Stephen and Jessica with what you could do to also build a circle, a profit, a profit circle. So first, let us know your top three goals right now. Well, number one goal is we're here to scale up. We're mm -hmm. here to, anybody that's trying to invest, anybody that's trying to make some moves, we're trying to collaborate. Yes. We want to get it together. Yes. So it doesn't matter who you are, if you have that drive, if you have that dedication. The way our systems are set up is hard work and dedication that's going to bring the money in your pocket, it's going to bring money in our pocket. Everybody going to eat. Everybody. So there's no money up front. It's not one of them, oh, you got to buy in, this and that. No, you got to get your butt out there, yeah, get, get the work. The computer. Yep. Stop hiding. Yeah. This ain't a game. Let's go out here and get this money. Boom. SJMGLegacy.com. You can find us right there. NewbieInvestors.com. That's for Give me your phone team. number. <laughs> Give me your phone number. 312-702-0236. Uh, 312-702-0236. 36 you need to hit them up because and you see it's not it's not a scheme or a scam okay it's hard work and dedication is what they say they want to scale up they want to put money in your pocket they want to you guys want to work with you know what I mean? Work with people, and that's a far as collaboration. You got a big goal that you want to share with us? Um, financial education, man. I think people don't understand, A, how easy it is to obtain credit, how easy it is to obtain a home, and mm. how easy it is to invest. So educating people. I think um, a lot of people get stuck in, oh, you got to have 20000 to buy a house. You're wrong. Yeah. Talk to the experts, um, or become an expert for yourself. Uh -huh. So my big goal this year is we want to get into land development yes um, we're trying to I buy love the that. land and throw some property on there that and make it ours block. yeah we're trying to buy black the block for real for real. Well, we know someone that you need to speak to and he's right over there that's awesome and, and educating people yes. education because what you when you don't when you think you have a financial cap or you don't have financial control that's yeah. when you don't get what you need to that's how you get stuck in corporate america absolutely that's how I was stuck for 10 years absolutely so. no 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 i love these goals these these goals are huge and you know I love huge goals. Be unrealistic. Go to land development. Why not? Why not? Else exactly. is doing it. Why, Why not? We get Absolutely. So we gotta take major steps in life. Get uncomfortable. Now, give them give these guys, they've been watching you guys, man. We gotta give them something. Give them like the best tip. If they wanted to start a group tomorrow, just like what you've done. If they wanted to start a group tomorrow, what are some action steps? Does it, do they need to get an LLC first? Do they need, like, what do they need to do to get moving if they need a management group and just get into what you're doing? Okay. First things first, before, see, LLCs and stuff like that, that's when we're talking about coming up with money. It's not much money, in my opinion, but some people don't have any money. So at okay. the end of the day, how about that? If you got a computer, you got a printer. Uh, go on Microsoft Word, blow those letters up. I love it. that stuff up, bam, put it out there, okay? You cooking, you want to sit there and make a dish, all right, make that dish on Facebook Live, promote it. Donations, $10. Right. Donations. They're not paying you, they're donating. Yeah. All right? 
make that money any way possible. Yep. Don't, you gotta jump. You gotta get out there, get out on the street, talk to people. You just gotta make it happen. Right. See, the thing is, is like corporate structure and entity, you know, that is the official way. What people don't realize, at least where we come from, is that they already hustling. They already doing everything that they need to do. Mm -hmm. They just don't understand the terms, the lingo, yes. you know, everything like that. So, you know, for the field that you're looking for, start educating yourself, start masterminding with people, start finding the people, you know, but just really just get out there and just do it. Just make it happen. And I mean, make step outside of your comfort zone. Uh, my biggest challenge was forgetting that I don't work for a corporation <laughs> from nine to five anymore. Mm. So like, um, one of the speakers yesterday said, if you're doing eight hours, you're a slacker, you're a schlep. Mm. And to be honest, you are. If you're not doing what you need to do, getting everything done and leaving that day at that day, you're behind. Mm. Um, Steven and I have a bunch of accountability conversations every single day. I love it. And yeah. the biggest thing is he'd be like, gee, you making excuses. Wow. Like, I love you, but this is an excuse. Yes. I'm not going to tolerate it. And you're not about to cry right now because this is business. This has right. nothing to do with our love. I life. love it. I and love it's it. It's not business. It's not personal. So advice of you going into business with your boo thing. Yes. It's not personal. It's business. Absolutely. And that's a huge, it can be a huge adjustment for anybody. But um, that's one thing just to know. Whoever you partner with, period, relationship, friend, it's not personal. It's all about the money and it's business. Um, so Boom. No, that, that's excellent. Thank you. Comfort. Business comes first, man. And then, again, we pay the price now so we can pay the price later. But it's all business. I love what you said. You don't be a slacker. You work at eight hours. Somebody out there is working 24. You know, get get, get your game right. Get your game tight. I am. Stacey, of course, first, before I go, I want to say thank you for your service. I know you are a veteran. Yes, I, I appreciate am. what you've done for us, me, my country, your country, what we're all sitting here getting to do on freedom. So thank you so much, baby. Shout out to the 19th Engineers Battalion. You. Yep. Y'all know who y'all are. Absolutely. <laughs> so thank you guys for coming to stop by the Comfort Killer Show with Stacey A. Cross. I appreciate it so much. Like I said, I'm here to get, dig for gold. Fuck around digging for diamonds at this point. You know, and this is what we do. I am Stacey A. Cross, and there is no E in my name. Until next time. <laughs>